Hello team, this is Melanie and I am at the LAX airport waiting for my shuttle and I am tired and I am frizzy um, but I am filled up and I wanted to share a couple quick things with you. Um, you may notice uh, some new things here. This is the halo necklace from Haiti and it's similar to the oceans necklace that we had a while back. Same length as the Haiti signature but it's got the Sela beads on it, so it's real nice and neutral, those gray beads. The uh, cereal box beads, oops, sorry. The cereal box beads are um, smaller, so it's kind of a little daintier version of that. And guess what? Jolene Shaughnessy won this for being one of our $1,000, um, I can't think of words right now, challenge uh, for December. So Jolene, you will be receiving this in the mail soon. Thank you so much for your hard work. Uh, we missed you and hope that you can come to Nashville in July. Scroll up for more um, updates on that if you don't know about that. And the second thing is this beauty, I don't even know if it has a name now that I think of it, but it is a turquoise blue and white scarf and it is made by our new Pakistan artisans. It is not in the catalog that you'll be receiving soon. It will be in the back office soon if it isn't already. I haven't even had a chance to look. But you may have watched Susan's video to hear that we were challenged to, um, oh, hi Lydia, yay. Um, we were challenged to, um, I, I think I might be posting this on my own page. <laughs> I meant to post it in my group. Oh well. Okay, so we were challenged to in, um, invite more women into the sisterhood so we could take on bigger groups like Pakistan and I, that was in July at the leadership retreat and I just resonated with that. I want more women represented from the Middle East. Right now we only have the women making sea glass necklaces from Jordan and uh, I just knew that and I thought of these women. I talked about them at parties and our challenge was to bring on five new compassion entrepreneurs who qualified which means sold a thousand dollars by the end of the year. and. Um, I did that and they honored me and two other women for it, but they were hoping to have at least 50 of us do that. So as Susan mentioned, Holly really challenged us uh, to up our game. They're giving us the Smart Start Restart um, for that purpose. And I'm so excited to say that you uh, can purchase this for yourself or a loved one from our new Pakistani um, artisans. We can tell you more about them, but um, on the behalf of the three women who took up this challenge, um, they gave uh, sewing machines, generators, and a mom and her four kids, I'm a mom with four kids, uh, were rescued out of being trafficked uh, by their landlord. And I just am so proud to be a part of that, so humbled. But I also want to give out a shout out to those five CEs who worked so hard to get $1,000. I didn't do it for them. Um, you know, I helped them along if they had questions, but Lydia Vote. Thank you for qualifying. Thank you for um, being part of bringing the Pakistan group on. Julia Neeson, thank you for being part, even in the midst of your busy life, bringing the Pakistani group on. Um, let's see, Megan Galvin, thank you so much for joining this and bringing on that Pakistani group. Bianca Asphalt, thank you so much um, for doing this. Um, even in your hesitancy, you've made such an impact. And Caitlin Lassen, thank you so much, and it's been fun to partner with you. Uh, here locally, you as well, Julia, and I'm just so proud of you guys, um, and I just hope that we can continue to keep those women from Pakistan in our hearts uh, so that we can offer them uh, the chance to have the opportunities and um, uh, the beauty and the things that we probably take for granted every day. So thanks, everyone, and I, there's more to come. I can't tell you how proud I am to be part of Trades of Hope and what an effective business model it is to empower women out of poverty around the world. We have over 13,000 artisans, up from over 7,000 artisans at the end of last year. So um, come join what we're doing. I, I have not seen a better model of empowering women uh, to be the heroes of their own, own story than the Trades of Hope. So shout out below if you'd like to know more, have any questions, and thanks again for listening live from LAX. It's great lighting, isn't it? <laughs> Bye.